Anyways, welcome back to Mario Sunshine. Uh, we're going to Serena Beach today. There are only three blue coins in the first episode. Yeah, this is, this episode is mainly for a boss fight. Um, I guess we might as well just take care of the blue coins now. Check this one. Is that another episode? The blue coin comes out of that at some point. Water, uh, blue coin number one in the water at the edge of the cliffs north of the starting point. Oh, right, okay. I don't know about that. Oh. Are these the other two? For them, the other two involve Nokis. Okay, it's probably these guys then. So just go over here. Just have a sneaky guy just out of the back. Yeah, like I said in, um, I think one of the last episodes, uh, this may be another beach level, but by technicality, but you spend barely any time on the actual beach, so it doesn't really matter that much. So this is a kind of, a bit of a, um, uh, Crafty and monster? <laughs> yeah. This, this was kind of a roadblock for me as a kid because, um, I could never, I, I could never beat this guy. Like, he's definitely one of the, uh, more creative bosses in the game. So yeah, it's like... He goes off the logic of uh, when you split apart one entity, like it splits into more. You keep doing that until they're tiny things. Boss gives electric blue paint a brand new meaning. Yeah. He also like sent you flying everywhere. The best strategy like I can give is just keep doing the spin the spin spray move. You have some uh, shelter areas if you need it. And yeah, they spray the electric goop everywhere. I think this is the first time when you, they have goop that can hurt you on impact. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting boss. I like it when they get inventive. Now they just chase you. Is this the first time you're seeing this? It's like, it's like on, yeah. There we go, go on. So 
a little bit time consuming, but if, you, if you're careful, it's, uh, it's manageable. You don't, you don't want to uh, go in an area where there's like a bunch of electric goop, or you're like surrounded. Because you barely get any time to react. Now the actual level begins, pretty much. So, uh, over here, you can get an extra life if you need that. That's handy. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's crappy. Oh, there we go. Oh, coin. oh okay, cool. I had a feeling there was an actual blue coin. Area. Let's go into the actual hotel now. Yeah, that guy's a prime example of like, like he just want, wants to ask for help, but he's not really doing and he, he's not really saying anything bad about Mario. So, yeah. Camera would like turn but that will be nice. Yeah, I don't think you can really explore the hope. Oh, are you back? Tops, those are toilets, right? Yeah, these are toilets. You can just there's there's not even a door. You can just walk in there. Now, why do they have the same color design as? Ooh. Color design as what now? Same pattern. Same color patterning, patterning as some of the. the... Mm. Yeah, that's a fake. 
Yeah, boo boos like to be uh, uh, crafty in like form into like coins. And if they're like not moving, then you know it's a boo. Boos do look kind of weird in this game. Hmm. Every enemy in this game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. It, uh, oh, okay, that was weird. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the hotel is um, off limits until episode three, so most of it is just the secret course. This is episode two now, because I was. Yep. Um, how many blue coins? I got six. So one. Wait, what? Got all three in episode one. Yep. And who has... Six. Oh, it has, like, like six, so he'd have to have nine, then. Um... Oh! Oops. Um... Let's see, I, I got a blue coin from, uh, uh, putting out, uh, one of the flat, one of the torches, and, um, there was one at the back of the hotel, and I, oops, and I, uh, sprayed that, I sprayed something for a blue coin. What are the other three of them? You sprayed something near the lounge chairs, didn't you? Yep, but yeah, that thing. Spray the flower bed? Flower bed. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, I need to. I, I, I gotta stop doing pro strats. I'm just gonna do this normally. Or the other two. Oops. Ceiling on a little, excuse me, on a, in the ceiling of the little hut on the right. Okay, no, I didn't get that. Spray the lamp on a uh, spray lamp on the third floor inside the hotel. Oh, so it's not okay. All right, I remember them now. We gotta do this level again anyway, so it's not a big deal. Gosh, breakable bricks, I feel like I haven't seen these in... Also massive in this game. Full of sand, or am I just hallucinating? Um... Well, I mean, there, there's like a little hole that looks like it's, um, has sand in it, so... It's possible. That, that, that little bit there. It looks like sand. Be careful here. I remember you gotta do some shenanigans back here for a red coin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Ugh. I didn't mean to turn around. You know, it's kind of funny when uh, they bring back the that one secret call stage in Galaxy 2 because uh, when you have when you have like the spin with you, like it's so much easier with that on own. And you also have a long jump in that game, and you don't have that in Sunshine. Don't really I never really understood why they cut that out in this game. I can't really think of Expect. anything that would break. What's that? Do you usually have flood to slow your fall? I suppose. And would allow you to travel distances farther anyways. That's true. You're really naked in these levels. 
yeah. Is it me or does uh, is Mario more sensitive to movement in this game than he was in '64? Idea because I haven't played Super Mario 64 on a console in ten years. Mm. I I I can't really comment on DS. Ten years old. Uh -huh. I don't know if I do 64 DS as an actual playthrough, but I want to stream that game at least. Maybe after Mario Wii, I'm not sure. Ooh, okay, let's actually do this this time. Uh, okay. Yeah, I learned you can ledge grab sand. Yeah. And just a random enemy because why not? Alright, now we can do that with Flood and have it hopefully be a million times easier. I remember, like, uh, doing the red coin challenge and missing one of the red coins, though. So hopefully I can find them. Alright. So the flower bird, the tent thing, and the thing in the hotel. A little hut on the right. Did you did you go there? Um. Oh, this one. Oh, there we go. The flower should be up here somewhere. This is re that one's really sneaky. Or though. That's. If only you had a brother who was good at hunting ghosts. Yeah, and just had a, had a game uh, right before this one. But then again, like, uh, we were talking about this before, but um, it's entirely possible that this game happened before Luigi's Mansion. Ironically, but who knows? I mean, it's still mess up they left Luigi behind, though. Yeah. It, it just, like, if you put this game after Luigi's Mansion in, it just makes it so much worse. Like, what am I doing? It's not this. Just do things up in the upper area. Spray the lamp up on the third floor inside the hotel. Okay. It's the first. I'm trying to remember, Pink Booth debuted like in the Mario Party games, didn't they? Um, I think? I know they were in Mario Party 6. Pink Booth in the first Paper Mario, weren't there? Or am I... I... <laughs> my, my knowledge on Paper Mario is very minimal. <laughs> so... I... Actually, wasn't the Boo Party member Pink? Or am I... Oh, uh, Lady... How do you pronounce her name? Lady Bo? She's, like, bluish. Okay. I like that they made, um, classic Mario enemies, like, party members. That's pretty cool. Like, how there's, like, actually, there's actual, like, good, uh, Goombas, for instance. Sure, it's only the, I think it's only the military Goombas that betrayed the Mushroom Kingdom. I suppose. It's just the fact that, like, the main series, like, there's, like, no... There's really, like, no good goom Goombas that I am aware of. Sure, it's not like Mario gets to hang around in Toad Town. That's true. Oh, okay, that's just a random one-up. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
I forget how to get through this, like, safe. It's like... You need to go through here. Like, it's really sketchy. That works. I don't think there's anything in the ice blocks. No! Oh! Ooh. Wait! Wait! Oh! Oh! Almost saved it. Oh well. I'm happy that the RPG. Wait, what? No, I was gonna ask something about the um, the um, high members or whatever you call them, the, the support supporting characters. Party members. Yeah. Partners. Partners. Yeah. I was just gonna ask, like, do you have any favorites or not? I only played Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario, and Super Paper Mario's party members are mostly pixels, pixies, pixels. Yeah. yeah. Companion fairies. I, 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 yeah, I do like though that, um, yeah, essentially, you play through the game and you have, like, uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser as a team. It's pretty, I like that. It's pretty cool. Even if, t if it takes a really long time to find Luigi. Or, like, get him on your team, rather, because you know he's Mr. L, Mr. L, but... Yeah. See though, <laughs> we never see them in the same place at the same time. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I hate doing that because it always feels like I'm just gonna fall. That's Super Paper Mario, the party map partners are actually established Mario characters for once. <laughs> yeah. Try that again. And then. Uh... Well done. Yay! Okay. Let's not die on this part. Just being extra careful. Uh, um, so I guess from Thousand Year Door, my favorite party members. Uh. In terms of gameplay, probably the Yoshi you get, and. Oh, yeah. Bella, because she pretty much provides you information that you need. Oh, Green Bella. As far as, like, personality and story goes, um... Hmm. Oh, I missed. Probably Coops and Admiral Bobbery and Vivian. Okay. What's the one that kills you if you read the diary? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I've seen Probably that. Vivian, but I never, I only ever read any character's diary. Unless I absolutely had to. Yeah, that's kind of funny though, like... Uh... Alright, uh, what's the uh, blue place this time? 